All right, now I'm going to take my biggest brush, which is this one, dip that into the water, and I'm going to dry most of the water off on this cloth that's in front. I'm painting the background now, so I'm going to be painting the sky. What I want to do is put, maybe I can put this into the video so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use green to start. And with the green, I'm going to start painting with that beautiful green across the corner of this canvas like that. Beautiful green. Because this canvas has got edges, I'm also going to paint that green across the top edge of the canvas. And no one's putting up their hand yet, so that's awesome. So I, I'm not going to stop to unmute any of you. <laughs> I hold sway. This is marvelous. <laughs> I don't get this normally in my own household. <laughs> All right, I'm adding on some blue now. So I'm not going to brush the brush. I'm putting it straight into the blue, and I'm going to do exactly the same, going over the edge of the green, not over all of it, but if you can see from here, I've gone over this edge of the green to blend the blue in, and I'm going to take it a little bit further down. The canvas like so don't forget you've got edges to do as well so I'm going to paint that edge in there make sure all the edges of my canvases are painted like that as I go through with the same color that I'm putting on the front now I wanted to do purple down below you can either what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of blue here and take a little bit of red mix it together and see what color I get. It, it looks a bit dark there, but it does turn out to be purple when you put it on your canvas. So I'm going to make that dark purple across the bottom of the canvas like that. And I'm using these long sweeping movements so that I can get a nice even brush stroke effect across the canvas. So this beautiful blue, it's gone into purple and it's green at the top. And again, I'm going to paint the sides of the canvas and the bottom of the canvas and that side and across the bottom again so that my whole canvas is painted, and then just smooth any edges that I have damaged by moving my canvas around, like that. Can you all see? So if I tip that up a little bit, you can see that I've got a nice smooth finish, and it's blue, green, and purple across the bottom. I'm gonna leave that to dry for a little bit, Brush care is very important. So what I want you to do is get into the habit of putting your brush into the water when you've finished this particular segment or each segment and make sure that your brush is very clean. So I'm dabbing it quite strongly in the water to make sure my brush is clean. When I take it out, I'm going to use the cloth to get rid of excess. Can you see that there? The excess paint on the cloth. So there's almost no paint left in that brush because I've been quite vigorous in cleaning it. So I'm going to leave that brush on the side while I'm waiting for this to dry. There's a bit of shine on there, so I'm going to hold it up a little bit so that you can see a bit better. You've got a bit of an edge that's appeared as well. You can see because we've been painting over the edge, it's not going to matter at the end of the day, but you can smooth it down if you want to. It really isn't going to matter at the end of the day. Right, I'm going to move on now, bit of a shine on there still, I'm going to hold that up like so, you can see it better there. Right, I'm going to move on now to the trees and for that I'm going to use this round brush, can you see that round brush, that one there, it's quite a big round brush, wet the brush like we did with the first lot. Dry it off on your cloth and load some black paint onto this brush. I've loaded quite a bit of black paint 
and then I'm going to get rid of a little bit of it so that my brush is still left with a point. If you load too much paint onto your brush, you'll have blobs of paint on it like this. Whoa, let's, there we go, like that. Can you see it's a blob of paint on there? If you scrape a little bit of that paint off, twisting your brush as you do it, using your palette, you'll end up with a point on that brush. I don't know if you can see that, yeah? There's a point on that brush. So if I turn it, you can see it's got a point. That point's important because we want to paint trees. Trees are different sizes, different widths. They're not all the same. So you can paint your trees the way you want them, but I'm going to start my tree from about here. Never put something in the middle of the canvas, across the middle or there. It just doesn't suit your eye at the end of the day. So I'm going to start with it being slightly on the left-hand side of the canvas, like that, with using the point of my brush to make the tip of the tree, just touching it like that so I've got the tip of the tree. And then using the brush in little dabs and making it go across the canvas like that to give me a fir tree. And you can see what I've done is I've left a few, blot, a few open areas in between my blobs of tree so that you can see that there's sky underneath. And I'm going to put a trunk all the way down through the middle of that tree. Cover up a little bit of the trunk so that there's definitely a centerpiece of this tree. Same principle applies to the next tree. I'm going to make something smaller. This one I'm going to make maybe a little bit fatter, like so, with a few edges coming off that tree. Make that go all the way down to the bottom. And I'm even going over the other tree. My branches are also facing down, which is why I'm holding the brush this way, facing down. Fir tree. I'm going to do a thinner one alongside that. Give me a trunk first. And then because it's thinner, it looks a little bit raggedy, this one. I'm going to put my blobs on either side of that tree, going all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. So I have three different types of trees there, you can see. I can put some more trees because I'm going to go around the edge of the canvas. I'm going to put some more trees going around the edge of the canvas, like that. I'm using the whole canvas to show, that, to show my picture. There we go. So now you can see my, my tree goes around the edge, line through the middle. And I'm going to do a smaller tree on this side of the canvas, just a little one there. And this one, same effect with my branches going down and round and around the edge of the canvas as well. So now when you look at that canvas, at all stages I've got trees. Paint the bottom black because the trees end up across the bottom there black. And there we go. I'm going to leave that to dry. Now this is the time where I'd say show me your pictures, but I can see that we don't have anyone painting today because we are all just um, having a good look to see what the session is going to look like, which is absolutely fine. So I'm not going to switch to you guys to show what you, be, you guys have been painting and answer any questions, but in the future, that's exactly what I want to do. I want you to ask me questions, show me what you're doing, let everyone else see what you're doing if you want. And if get I do this, I can talk to you. Sure, talk. Did you wave? I am sorry. I'm going to unmute you. There we go. I'm just saying, if I press this, then I can talk temporarily. Oh, marvellous. That's perfect. So, did you want to know anything exciting? No, I was just showing you the technology. <laughs> marvellous. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for that to dry, 
You can all see that now. And I've got this beautiful green, blue, purple haze going down to the corner here. The last thing I want to do on here before we put our signature, it's as quick as that, is I want to put some highlights. No, I don't want to put any highlights on my tree at all. What I want to do is I want to put some stars in the sky because this is a clear night sky. For that, I'm still using this round brush. You can put gloves on if you want to because this involves you actually touching the brush and touching the paint. Either put gloves on or get messy. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to get messy. I'll wash my hands after this. So what I want to do is, and you can't see it from there, I'm going to load white paint onto this brush, like so. And then I'm going to hold that brush about... I would say about six inches away from my canvas. I'm going to try this out first. So it's about six inches above the canvas. I'm going to use the tip of my finger like that, and I'm going to pull the bristles back and let them go. And what I've got now is some beautiful stars appearing over my trees. I will show you put that brush in the water I will show you a little closer and without some without the the shine on there what that looks like can you see that we've got stars there stars are up to you however many you want in there you can make as many as you want so I'm going to put a few more on there load some more white paint on my brush hold my brush a little bit away from the canvas and then put some more stars on there. The closer you get and the less paint that's on your brush, your stars get smaller. I will show you closer. Can you see how many stars I've got on there now? If you don't You've like the fact... Few stars on Sorry, you got a few stars on top of your tree. I do. Now, if you don't like the stars on the top of your tree, what you can do, wipe your hands, is take the smaller brush or use the same brush again. Just wash it off very carefully so that there's no white on it. Dry it off on your cloth so that there's no white on it. Take some more black and redo where your spots are over your tree that you don't want. Just retouch those trees with black. Like so. So that you have the picture that looks like that. And that's a starry sky. It's as simple as that. Now, I said to you that what I would do at the end of this video, it's a little bit longer video than we would normally do. What I'm going to do at the end of this video is show you how to paint these mountains. You can see we've splashed quite a lot of shadow on there. I've put more blue on this. So there's less green on this one than you can see on the one underneath. Put them together. That's a lighter sky. So I've got more blue on this one. A little bit more red coming, some more purple coming in across the bottom of it. So it doesn't matter. Every single painting will turn out differently because that's what they are. They're individual. I'm going to show you now, though, how to put mountains onto this picture. I'm going to use exactly the same picture. My mountain, I'm going to use the same shape that I've done for the trees to make them into mountains. And literally all I have to do to do that is... That's my trees. I'm going to change this now into mountains. So I need to take from the tip of that tree there and make my mountain a little bit of an interesting shape, like that, with black. Make it a bit thicker. See, I'm covering the trees up now, but if you started with no trees, your mountains can be a little bit lower in any shape you want. That's my shape of mountains. So I've covered the trees. I'm going to go around the edge of the canvas as I did with the trees. 
fill in my mountains there all the way down to the bottom with black like that so now i've got a mountain range in there filled in all the way down to the bottom with black i haven't completely filled it in so i've got a little bit of that purple coming in i don't know if you can see that it just adds in because i'm using this brush it adds in a little bit of um, shape to these mountains now what i want to do is I want to put on the snow on the mountains because that will definitely define my mountains, the edges of them. And what I can do with the snow is I can create different mountain landscapes in the front of this black. So here we go. Wash the brush off carefully. Dry it off so that you've got no more black on there. Load it up with white. Now you've got to choose which side of the mountain is going to have snow on it. It can either be, if you have a look at this picture here, this picture here shows that all the snow is on the right-hand side of this mountain going down. And I've got a few little mountainscapes in between in the front, the forefront. So from this one, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to load my snow across the top of the mountain and take it down the side and you can see it doesn't matter if it actually blends into the the um, black to make a little bit gray that's fine it gives you a little bit more interest on the mountain side wash that brush off again i just dabbed that and i've got because i've got spaces in between it looks like there's crevices in that mountain i'm going to do it again with the mountain in the background so I start with the tip of it, there's snow on the tip of the mountain, and I'm taking it down the right-hand side. That mountain I'm going to bring into the front. Wash the brush off again, because I've got grey on there. Load it up with white again. This one is going to go across like that, across the edge of my canvas. And it's gone a little bit grey, which is fine for me. I've got another little bit of a mountain hilltop coming in there too. I want to bring some foreground mountains in. So to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of white like that in the foreground. You can make any shape you want, really. If your brush, because the black is wet underneath, if you're getting too much gray, wash your brush off, dry it off on your cloth, load some more white on, and start again with the white. I've got some extra crevices in there again. That one comes down a little bit this side. A little bit of white snow coming in that section there. So now I have some interesting landscapes, interesting mountainscapes. The white snow needs to be quite firmly white, so I've loaded up quite a lot of white on there. There you go. Okay, guys, that's it. We are done. That's your picture. So please, use what I've done here. Create at home. Sign in for some more sessions. There's some more coming up. Okay, we'll see you soon. Cheers now.